okay good morning everyone uh, today i'm explaining you how to use our uh, uh, auto trading software which will take trade on its own so this is actually the excel sheet which we will be using and what we have to do is first and foremost thing this excel sheets need to be open and here we have the user credential if you see here there is a user credential column what you will have to do is Initially only you have to put your user ID and the password. Okay, I've just marked the password here. And this is going to be the TOTP. What happens is you know that the TOTP is going to change every 30 seconds. So you need to match that when we are executing the Excel file. So I've given you an Excel file, you need to execute that. And then it will give you a message saying that welcome to GAN Trader. And that is a place where uh, after that it is going to authenticate and that time whatever is that EOTP that has to come here if it has changed you need to immediately uh, enter that because that synchronization is very important once that is done assume that it is as good as your uh, this is your uh, zero the account uh, uh, which you are manually accessing okay now what has happened here is uh, this was actually closed and I have manually intervened. See the, I'll tell you what are the biggest challenges which are, are going to happen in this particular case. If you are taking an entry in the early morning, absolutely no issues, everything it will only take care. So the best thing is, if you are not able to understand what has to be done, the best thing that you have to do is only uh, enter the trade somewhere, uh, give at least two, three minutes time and after that you start off so how do you control that what you can do is uh, either you don't give the quantity on see if you are in a paper trade mode nothing that you need to worry you what happens is here it will come as active what you will have to do is for example here see it is closed right i just actually uh, delete this it will again start actually becoming active so what happens here is it will automatically start a new trade so generally what happens is whenever it is in an active mode, that means there is already a trade which is triggered. If you see here, entry is done at this price. So there is already an entry done. It is not going to do anything else until unless it is going to exit. Exit is based on a criteria which we have already given. You can see here the exit criteria is false. When that exit criteria becomes true, it will automatically exit. For example, the exit criteria right now is going to be to do with this. Uh, right now, the exit criteria is this is that stop loss. If it is hitting the stop loss, then it is going to exit. So as now, as of now, it is not hitting that. That is why it is not exiting. So what happens, you need to understand. It is not going to take any fresh trade as long as there is a trade which is active or there is a trade which is closed. Yes, Ranjit. Ranjit, I have been trying to explain how it works. You, you have been able to log in, right? Yeah, same thing I am able to see. You are able to log in. This is what is happening, right? Yes. Okay. If it is working, there is nothing that you need to worry right now. What I am trying to make you understand here, the best way of actually operating is get started somewhere around 9.25. Somewhere around 9.20 should be okay. At least give uh, three to five minutes time. We need a high and low for this to start working. So high, low would have happened. At least five minutes, you are given 9.15 to 9.20. There is a five minutes time which has happened. There is a high, low which has got formed. Rest, it will calculate and it will start actually trading on its own. Now, what you have to understand here is, what is the total margin you will need? See, if you want to trade only with Bank Nifty, for example, here we are actually doing this uh, purely from the point of view of uh, uh, option buying. So since we are doing only in option buying, in that case, Whatever we are taking here, we are taking the two uh, uh, in the money options. One is a call, one is a put. So we have taken 19,000, sorry, 21,700 call 
21,800 put. So the total cost you have uh, the margin needed if you want to trade only in Nifty will be around roughly around 300 into 300 into 50. So roughly around uh, 15,000 rupees. If you have that with one lot of Nifty buy uh, on the call and the put, you can actually do. Okay, so that is a minimum margin required uh, for Nifty. For Bank Nifty, probably we need uh, around uh, somewhere around 800, 900 points. So 900 into uh, 15. So roughly this also around 15. So totally, if you have around 30,000 rupees, keep a buffer of another 5, 10,000 rupees. And uh, that is what is required, the minimum margin required or the minimum amount required. If you want to trade only with uh, Nifty, you think about this as, think about as 40,000, 20,000. If you want to trade only with Nifty, 20,000 for uh, only Bank Nifty. So if you want to trade both, around 40,000 is what is required. We are looking at just one one lot. Okay, that is the... What happens is it, it can automatically trigger all the four trades or it may not trigger any trade also. See, it all depends on the conditions which we have given. Based on the condition, what it will do is it will automatically trigger. So what you have to understand, I hope you are clear with how much money is needed. Around 40,000 is required. If you are okay with that, then you can do. Initially, we have put in the paper trade mode. So here, you don't need any money also. For you to first get confidence, we have actually given you the paper trade mode. Whenever you want to start uh, doing real trade, you can, what you have to do is change this to real. Okay. But you have to, what you have to do is when you are before logging in only, you have to do this. Because once it logs in, it will be in paper trade mode. I cannot change now to real mode. If I Even if I do this, it will not work. It is still in the paper trade mode only. It will get into a real mode only when you are actually, uh, uh, when you have put this into real mode and you have uh, done that, uh, you have run it in the real mode. That means uh, that Excel, uh, the exe file which we have run, right? that we have to run and we have to authenticate and we have to log in in the real mode only. Then only it is going to function. I hope till here everything is clear. First, you have I have told you about how to log in. Login is not a problem. Both of you have been able to log in, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Login is not an issue. Second thing is you, you know now how much money is needed for uh, taking the trade. I hope that is clear. Yeah. Yeah. Now you don't want to trade in futures. What you have to do is when you are in the real mode, just delete this. Just delete this. Whichever you don't want to trade, no, just delete this particular place. It is not going to execute. Right now it is in the paper trade mode. I don't have to worry. But when it is in the real mode, we have to have this. Uh, uh, what do you say? This has to. Uh, if it is on, then it is going to execute. You don't have money, it is going to reject the order, but still it is going to execute. I hope you are able to get that. Yeah. Okay. Now, next important thing is the lot size. See, lot size by default, we have kept one one lot. You want to change, you can change, but initially I, will, I don't want you to change. First trade with one lot. First, get accustomed to it, understand the risk, understand the uh, profits and loss, whatever is happening. Once you are clear, then only you can increase the lot size. And I would not want you to increase the lot size too much and all. But uh, we have kept it open. You can edit this. You don't have to worry. Whenever you want to change, you can always change this. Number of lots you can increase. Okay. Next. Okay. Next important thing which you have to understand here is, see here, when you see it as blank, that means nothing has actually happened. There is no call which has got triggered. There's no call which has got triggered. See, we have kept uh, 48,000 call and 48,500 put. We have kept these two things on. Okay, right now what has happened is 48,500 call has got triggered. Put, sorry, put has got triggered. 
call has not got triggered. That means we are still in the cell mode only. And you can see in the future also, it is in the cell mode. Getting it? So what happens is, you, you have to understand here that when it is, when a trade is triggered, look at this here, we have, you can see it is active. Now, when it is active, you can see at what price it has got bought. It has got bought at 484.4 rupees. Okay. Now, the initial stop loss is 448 rupees, which is the day low. Okay. Now, what happens here is we have kept the trailing stop loss on. Here, this is enabled. By default, we have enabled it. Now, what happens here is Every time, uh, see, once you have taken the entry, once it has actually bought at 484, for every one point which has moved on the upside, stop loss also has moved on the upside. So stop loss from 448 has moved to 468, 469. You can see here, real time, it has actually changed just now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So it will keep increasing. As the price keeps increasing, the stop loss will also keep increasing. This is called the trailing stop loss. Are you are you clear about this? So what happens is yes, whenever sir. it is active, it is active. That means already trade is on. Whenever it says closed, that means there was an entry taken. Then there is an exit also which has been taken. Here, entry was done at 162. I personally closed it. That's why it is actually closed. See, I can keep this on. It will take a new entry right now. Getting it? So when I do that, it will take a new entry. If I don't do, see, right now I will actually change, I will again delete it. You can see that it is going to, the earlier one will not be considered. The new one will be considered. See, right now it is a paper trade mode. You may not see anything, but what happens in a real mode, uh, if I delete it, then a new entry will start taking there in your system. So you have to be a little careful when you're doing the real trade. Right now, since it is uh, only a paper trade mode, uh, uh, you are able to see how actually things are functioning right now. It is the same thing in the real mode, but the only thing is if it is already having a trade which is on, it has not actually got exited. Here we have actually... Uh, here you, we may do some manual stuff, but there it would have already got one entry. So you have to be a little careful and see what it is. If you have less margin, then anyway, it is going to, this trade will uh, go, get rejected. If money is there, then it will get executed. If money is not there, it will get uh, uh, rejected. Since it is a paper trade mode, it will take any number of trades. There is no problem. But there, uh, whatever money is available, that is what uh, is going to dictate uh, whether the trade will be taken or not. Are we clear? See, if yes, it is closed, yes. it will not take any fresh entry. If it is active, it will not take any fresh entry. Suppose there is a trade which has been taken and it has closed it, then a fresh entry will not be taken until unless we personally are going to interfere here. Are you able to understand this? Yes, sir. Uh, das, sir, are you able to understand? No, sir. Kindly come again. I was not able to understand. It. See, what happens is, see, right now, there is a trade which has been taken here. You can see here. In Active, this case, yeah. In this case, 21,700 call, you can see entry is done at 108 rupees here. Yeah. Stop loss is 93 rupees. So stop loss is not yeah. triggered. Okay. Stop yeah. loss is not triggered. And uh, uh, price is anyway at 95. So if it comes to 93, probably the stop loss will get triggered. And if suppose it goes higher, our stop loss may also increase. Mm -hmm. As of now, this is active. Okay. okay. This is also active. If you see, this has got an entry at 158 rupees. Okay. Yes. The stop loss now has moved to 131. 
130.75. Okay. Now what yeah. happens is until unless the stop loss is not triggered, it, it is not going to uh, exit this trade. Oh, okay. getting the point. So what happens is here, look at this. Here it has closed the trade here. Now entry was done at this 21,540 and exit hmm. was done at 21,610. Now here, what you can see is it is closed. There is no new trade which is actually go, uh, uh, taking. It is not taking any new trade. Mm -hmm. When it is active also, it will not take any new trade. Because it is already on. Yeah. Are we clear? Yes. yes. If the trade is on, no fresh trade will be taken. If the trade is off, no fresh trade will be taken. You want to take a fresh trade, I have to delete mm -hmm. this. Then a fresh trade is oh. taken. Okay. Okay. Now I got it. Getting it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what happens is sometimes it may book profit or book loss and then it will end. But if you want to see what happens is sometimes you would see that it will go and uh, um, hunt the stop loss and then it will move in the opposite direction. So what mm -hmm. happens there is probably it has booked your loss or booked a profit and then it has started moving in the opposite direction. As long here, see right now, if you look at uh, bank nifty if it moves in the opposite direction anyway trade will get taken because nothing is there here but here yeah. in this case suppose it is going to go into a stop loss mode it is going to hunt stop loss both on the put side and the call side both may end up in a loss mm -hmm. because both are active already both may hit stop loss also Okay. Getting the point. Here, it yeah, yeah. He, there is no point. Only this will actually be exiting and the fresh trade can get taken. He, a lot of times you would see, right? Uh, look at this. Market was down and suddenly it went up. Yes. So what happens here? In this case, put will be active. And from put when it is active, after that it will book the profit in put and then call may also get triggered. Automatically. Automatically it will do. Okay. You don't have to do anything. It will do everything on its own. Okay, sir. See, it works perfectly for one entry in put, one entry in call. If it is more mm -hmm. than one entry, then we have to interfere. We have to manually intervene. Otherwise, no trade is taken for the day. Okay, okay. See, if you are unable to make any decision, the best decision to do is 920, you switch this on. Yeah. Leave everything for, the, for it to do on its own. And uh, if it is exiting, it has exited. You don't interfere there. If any opposite trade takes, then it will take on its own. Otherwise, you don't do anything. No fresh okay. entries and all you don't do. Keep it as it is. Whatever money you make, sometimes you may make profit, sometimes you may make loss also. Yeah. Most of the time, it, you will end up in uh, some amount of profit because what happens is if put has triggered stop loss, call may actually become in profit. So overall, net to net, you may be in profit because it will trigger on its own. It is not necessary that every time it is to... It will trigger both put and call. It will trigger only when there is an entry which is going to come as per our uh, conditions which we have given. Okay. Are you able to understand now? Yes, sir. Now, suppose you want to take a fresh entry. Let us take, for example, you want to take a fresh entry. Suppose you have not switched it on. And you have actually come right now. Only now you have actually switched it on. Now mm -hmm. look at this. What happens is the put started coming down from here. And we are somewhere around the day low. 
Now what happens is our stop loss will be still at the day high. So what happens is our risk is on the higher side. Yeah. So in that case, what happens is in case of put here, put and call, if you see by default, the stop loss is going to be the day low because we are in the buying mode here. Mm -hmm. You can see here the stop loss is 200. Here the low is 200. Stop loss is 448. Yeah. Here the day low is 447.6. See, look at this. Here it is 80. Yeah, it yeah. is 80. Here it is 125. It is 125.15. Are you getting it? So we are yeah, taking yeah. by default day low as our stop loss. Mm -hmm. Getting it? So by default, we are taking day low as, as our stop loss. And now, if we are taking uh, day low as our stop loss, uh, the only thing what is required uh, is if you want to take now, risk is higher side. So you want to control mm -hmm. that risk. What you have to do is, instead of this, the stop loss, whatever was there, before taking only, you have to change it. Before taking the oh. trade, see right now the uh, see stop loss is starting at 448, right? Hmm. Now here it is at 458. Suppose I want, I don't want to take more than 50 rupees risk or 100 rupees risk. What I'll do mm -hmm. is 5, 575 is there, 580 is there. I will put the stop loss itself as probably uh, 530 or something. I can put okay. this. I'm just actually putting at the downside because here putting uh, right now won't make a difference. Also, it will not help. Okay. So when that happens, uh, it will start the stop loss at this place and the trailing will start at this place only. Mm -hmm. Are you getting it? Yeah, yeah. So what happens is I can control my uh, losses like that and I can re-enter also. See, if you want to take a re-entry in that case, this is what you have to do. You have to control your risk. Honestly, don't take a re-entry. If you are uh, unable to take a decision, don't do that. Getting okay. the point? Yes, sir. So if at all you want to take a re-entry, this is what you have to do. You have to manually do this. Otherwise, you don't have to do it. Mm -hmm. Clear on this? Either you may get a big profit if you hold. If uh, if I don't want to cut it down in 50 uh, points stop loss, I may... Uh, two options are there. I may get big profit or I may get uh, stop loss figure. Correct? Correct. Correct. Hmm. See, suppose you want to exit di directly also in your system itself, you can exit. Or what you okay. can also do Zero is... Account. Sorry? Zero the account, we can exit. Ah, directly, you can uh, go and exit there. Or suppose I want to exit right now. What I can do here is I can keep this, this last traded price. I can put that here as our latest stop loss. I change this directly there. What happens is mm -hmm. automatically it is going to exit. Right now, since it is doing fine, I don't want to exit. But mm -hmm. suppose I want to exit, I will show you if there is any. Uh, see, right now, anyway, it has broken this. Probably it comes, see some, suppose it is at our GAN time or something. And I want to exit. Suppose it is somewhere around this place, somewhere around 2 o'clock or something. Or probably even now, 10.30, oh, right? Uh, somewhere around, okay, 12.30 is the next time which we have. Somewhere around this place. If I see that it has got into this kind of a range, look at this here. It went into a range, right? And I want to exit. I can manually exit. Or I can also do one thing is I can just go here, come and actually put the uh, last traded price itself as the price. See, right now, the trailing stop loss has come till uh, 569. Probably I can go here and put as 580, uh, 585 or something. It will trigger that. 
Okay. Okay, let me show you. Anyway, let me do one thing. I'll just copy this last traded price and put it. You can see it will close it right now. Oh, it jumped up. So it is not closed now. <laughs> I put this, but it has jumped another 20 points. That's why it did not trigger. Otherwise, it would have triggered. Getting it? I'll show you. That it, that it. Suppose. Oh, it has closed now. Can you see here? Closed. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Suppose so automatically. Zero the also. Hmm. Yeah. Tell me. Uh, automatically in zero the also it will be closed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. By Excel sheet, we can manage everything. If from Excel, you can manage. You can also directly do and interfere there also. But what happens mm. is if you are doing that, here, if you have not closed, the, the problem is, again, it may trigger a sell trade from here. It will mm. become mm. a short trade. And it may get rejected. But I'm trying to tell you that that can happen. Okay. I hope you have understood the, the risk factor here. Risk factor is right now, see, look at this. Initially, there was an exit which had happened here in Nifty. In Bank Nifty, exit had not happened. Okay. So what has happened is after that exit had happened, now this is a fresh re-entry which has actually taken place here. So in the fresh re-entry which has got taken place, if you have, if for that you have to manually intervene there, and we, if you have manually intervened, right now, look at this, I have manually intervened here. Now, after that, it has taken this particular trade and then it is actually trailing my stop loss and uh, continuing to make me profits. Getting it? It is continuing, it. it is actually making me profits. All the thing it is doing on its own. Now, the okay. only challenge is about managing the risk there. You have to ensure that what should be your risk. By default, it will take day low as your stop loss. You want to change, you have to change that day. Are we clear on that? Got it, sir. Okay. Das, sir, you are clear, right? So if das, you sir, know you very clear? well that market is going to break down today, then hmm. you you have to interfere manually and you have to remove the if it has uh, if it has hmm. exited probably hmm. you have to again intervene see hmm. you don't know no, whether it will go in the same trade it may go opposite also we have no idea about it correct here this will take care of it and if it you got it uh, if it reverses also it will take care Exactly. You don't have to worry if the market reverses, it will take care of it. Now, if I deleted this, a fresh trade is taken now. Getting it? You got it, got it. Now, few things uh, other than that, what is important is, number one, see the, this uh, background thing, this has to be running. You can see here. This Excel EXE file which we have actually run, huh? this should be yes, on. If this is for whatever reason closed, then this will not work. Okay. So first is uh, your connection should be on. So if your internet gets disconnected, by default, it will again try to re uh, retry and try to get connected. But what happens is uh, there could be at times where uh, it may not uh, really work. You might have actually seen that problem, right? Uh, timeout will happen, then it will not work. In that case, the problem is this stop loss, whatever trailing stop loss is not put in the system there. It is calculating here and putting that when that particular trigger comes. So the challenge is going to be that if this is not on, then probably the stop loss will not get triggered. And if you are making loss, the loss may increase. 
Number one problem is that. Number two problem is if power goes off. Power goes off, all the connections are gone. Getting the point? So that is something you mm -hmm. have to take care if you have a UPS. This should be running. Then everything is fine. If it is not running, then there is a challenge. You have to manually intervene there. Getting the point? Got right it. now, okay. as long as we are working on this system, these challenges are there and you have to manually take care of this risk and uh, problems which are there. In future, we will be doing everything web enabled and uh, it will be running on a web server. Then you don't have all these challenges. You have switched it on, rest it will take care. But for the time being, it is not going to take care. These things you have to manually take care. Okay. Are we clear? I hope you have understood what are the risk factors, where the challenges are there, and how you have to manually intervene. So now, yeah. the physical challenges are this uh, system related. Internet issues could be there. Uh, probably the Excel issue could be there. Excel has got hung or uh, system has got hung or probably uh, it goes into some kind of a, uh, what do you say, mm, Windows gets into an update mode and then actually it will automatically switch this off. All those problems can happen. We don't have any control on this. Power goes off. All these are uh, uh, external yeah. factors which can have a challenge. At this point of time, it is a challenge which you have to manually interfere there mm -hmm. and ensure that you don't get into a losses because of this. Getting the point? Okay. Because the stop loss yeah. is not going to get triggered uh, because it's the the system loss, we have not put the stop loss in the system. We have put the stop loss here. When the stop loss comes, then only it will trigger or booking the profit also, it, it will happen automatically here itself. So if any internet challenges are there, any other challenges are there, that will not function. I hope that okay. is clear right. with you. Rest oh, of the other wow. challenges is the only when you are trying to take a re-entry. That means you have not started on time, then you are trying to take a re-entry. There you have to manage your risk. And in the first five minutes itself, if the range is too big, then also you have to manage your risk or preferably don't take the trade. Understand the risk involved and then you have to decide should you take the trade, should you avoid the trade. Mm -hmm. I hope you are clear. So the best possible yes, thing sir. is start at 9.20, leave the decision for the, uh, for the system to take care. And uh, if uh, you if you don't you, if you are not very clear, don't take re-entry. If you are clear, then probably you want to take a re-entry. See re-entry. If you have to take also, you are leaving it to the system to take care. System is going to actually uh, get into a buy only when the conditions are met. If the conditions are not met, it will not take an entry at all. Okay. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Any doubt, you let me know. Otherwise, I think I have told you everything which has to be done. And initially, probably uh, do a few days in the paper trade mode, see how it is working, get accustomed to everything. Then you can start doing the paper tra uh, real trade. And in that real trade, what I want you to do is this particular place. This entry signal is there, no? Wherever you don't want to yeah. take the trade, remove that true market then okay. it will not get executed. Okay. Any doubt, let me know. If there is nothing else, I think I have done everything. We will close this. Sir, sir one question I have. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, you said that it will take the entry automatically. Suppose uh, in the morning, uh, I have switched on at 9.20 and it has taken an entry in the put side of bank nifty mm. so that will be shown as active and uh, call side there, there will be no signal right mm. sir 
See, there okay. could be, now, if the market is in a sideways mode, it may take entry in both put and call. Okay, okay. Achha. See, whenever the trigger is going to come in a buy, it will automatically trigger, whether it is put or call. If it is in one okay, side, fine. if it is moving in one direction, only one of them will get triggered. But if it is moving in both the directions, then both may get triggered. Sometimes you may see in the first 15 minutes, it may go down and suddenly it will start going up. In that case, oh, okay. the put would have got triggered. It would have booked the mm -hmm. profit and then it would actually trigger a call also. Okay. So suppose in put it has triggered and it has booked the profit. Mm -hmm. And it will show trade status as closed. Right, sir? Yes, yes. Uh, no, no. Um, how many entries it will take on its own, or one, so one, one entry in put, one entry in call. Next, if you want, you have to trade status. You have to remove the closed so that it will take another entry again. Yes, if you want, yes. if you want to take, then you have to delete this remove it. active yeah. or closed. It will be there. No, this you yeah, have to delete. It. It. Ah, that it is what I want. Now it is happening. Okay, okay. Now got it, sir. Yeah. Okay. Any other doubts? And if we, and if we are not starting at nine twenty, even if you are starting at ten thirty, also if trigger point is there. It is taking from that point. See, the Correct, problem sir? is it will still take the uh, entry, but the challenge is about the risk. Risk can be higher mm -hmm. if you are taking. See, right now it is eleven o'clock. See, right now if I am taking an entry in put, it will. It is in a buy, it will take the entry. But look at the um, stop loss is still going to be 125. Look at this. The stop loss is still 125. You mm -hmm. will have to manually at least change the stop loss so that your risk is le less. Okay. Okay. So stop loss cannot be done so that you have to go and change your later stop loss. No, not later the stop loss. You have to change here only. See, if you change okay. the latest stop loss, then it will not help because this, if you change, then what happens is it will keep trailing the stop loss. Otherwise, it will not okay. trail the stop loss. We want a new okay. trailing stop loss. No, see, look at this. It is trailing this from 125 only. The We have taken a re-entry in this case. From 125, the, the stop loss has actually shifted up to uh, 201.9. That means... The second entry also, 75 points plus, it has actually moved. Okay. Yeah. So now stop loss can be changed? Stop loss can be changed in the sense? See, you told when, stop loss once it is fixed. See, before the initial stop it loss is changed. fixed. Okay. This is the initial stop loss. After okay. that, this is the trailing stop loss. Okay. This is manual. This is done by the system. This you have to do mm -hmm. it. By default, okay. it will take the day low. Okay. Okay. So now I can put one seventy five here. Yes, 